What's going on everyone? My name is Glorious Mischief. Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. Last episode we beat Radon and we got a good way through Ronnie's questline and now it's time for us to find what exactly happened with killing Radon, which is this. A star fell. <laughs> and now we have a path forward, which is pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be doing right away. Um, also, last before, in between episodes, I did a little bit of grinding, and I cleared out... Here, I'll show you real quick. I cleared out a good chunk of this area up here. Uh, all of this stuff is optional. You don't have to do any of this stuff. Um, but there's one thing up here that I definitely want to do on screen. Um, and then there were two dudes that I kind of had encounters with. One was Patches. Then stay away from the Volcano Manor! <laughs> Bye now! And the other one was the Edgelord. <laughs> Back at Round Table Hold. Those boys were not kind to me, and I did not appreciate what they did to me, but that's all right. Um, Patches, that's part of his quest line, so I feel like, you know, it's always positive when you get Patches' quest line actually moving along. Um, I don't usually do his quest line, so it's kind of fun to do it, um, just because who wants to get pushed into the bottom of the pit with a bunch of barfy barfers, you know? They're barfy barfers. I don't really want to deal with them. Uh, but Patches is hilarious, and the place we're going to go up in the north there, Patches is going to be there. So, ooh, what is this note? There's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to Nokron, then. Go on, I'll catch up. All right, Blythe, you got yourself a deal. I'll meet you in Nokron then, bud. So yeah, this is the way to Nokron. And in Nokron, which is the city, um, under the ground... There's a couple of very, very powerful things. One is the most powerful summon in the game, bar none. Like, literally, no questions asked. Everyone is in agreement. It is the best summon in the game. Uh, since I haven't been using summons, I don't think I'm going to be using it. <laughs> but if I ever get really stuck, I might be using it. So, but as of right now, I don't plan on using it. Sorry. It's, uh, it's really good, though. And there's a way to cheese it, and I will show you a way to cheese your way through it, because it's hilarious to do. It also just makes your life so much easier. Um, also, I did a little bit of smithing stone farming, so I'll show you where I'm at with that. Um, 16s. I'm at plus 16s with the scimitars. And I'm going to be finishing out this game with the starting weapons, which is hilarious. <laughs> there's so many cool weapons in this game, but I feel like it's a unique challenge to start with the starting weapons and just go from there and... Keep building them out and seeing what you can do with them. I like um, I like adding an additional challenge into the game. Not that this game isn't hard enough as it is, but it's like, oh, anything that you can do new in this game is so fun. Oh, oh, almost killed myself. <laughs> I swear these areas are so tricky to navigate, and this is like. This is like half of what Elden Ring is. It's like discovering areas that you're really... Like in any other game, you wouldn't be supposed to like... You wouldn't supposed... <laughs> you wouldn't be supposed to go there. And in Elden Ring, it's like, yeah, that's the path forward, dude. <laughs> Get used to it. You're climbing on roofs. You're shabbling along things that look like they shouldn't be shabbled on. Um, and we're living the dream with it, you know? But that's, that's Elden Ring. Also, I love how in this area... It's like literally the star crashed down on it, and in the process of doing it, it just destroyed all these buildings, and there's all this gravity magic that's like loosely holding it together. Um, so it's just kind of like floating around, which is cool. Ooh, I love this space. Uh, it can be a pain if you're not high enough level, but we are plenty high level at this point. We're probably high enough level where we could probably beat the game uh, if we were diligent about it. But, I said I was going to try to give you guys a streamlined playthrough in 
the episodes. But I didn't say I wasn't going to be doing some exploring off camera because I love this game so much. And I miss it. I don't get to play this game very often. Silver Tear Husk. Um, yeah, I used to play it all the time just for fun because why not, you know? Uh, there's there's always a new build to be playing in this game. Um, but I feel like now that the DLC is about to come out, I'm totally going to do another playthrough uh, of DLC stuff after I run this game. Because uh, I want to run it with some of my other builds. One of my favorite builds is running with Melania's Sword, um, who, if you don't play this game, <laughs> Melania is everyone's favorite least favorite boss she's um she's super difficult and she does a uh, her waterfowl dance is a brutal but when you beat her oh it's so delicious it's so delicious because <laughs> she's really i mean she is really tough um and the first time you beat her it's like it's like game breakingly awesome how fun it is to beat her um but she whoops your butt quite a few times and it's one of those things where you're like you get into the fight and you're like am i under leveled and then you're realizing that you basically can beat every other boss in the game besides her <laughs> and you're like no i think she's just ridiculously hard uh and she is but that's the whole point of this game is that there's hard things things are hard <laughs> it's elden ring did that guy just fall off the edge he totally did <laughs> he went down there and fell <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Ooh. All right, so we're starting to get into Nokron, which is awesome. Um, yeah, this this whole area, you have to do it in order to uh, to do Ronnie's quest line, which is end game quest line that I want to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And yeah, the mimic, which is the summon I was talking about, is down here as well. So if you ever want to get the mimic. This is where you gotta go. You gotta do all this stuff. And let me tell you, there's a couple of things with the Mimic that are uh, are hilarious. So basically the Mimic is you, and it doesn't require any mana or magic to summon, unlike basically every other summon in the game. It just takes part of your health, uh, which is kind of a cool mechanic. It's like it's part of you, and in order to summon it, you gotta take a little part of yourself out. Um, but it means that non-mana builds can have really, 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 really good uh, summons because it's really good stuff. I mean, I would, I, I think everyone is basically in agreement at this point that it's the best summon in the game. Like, no questions asked, best summon in the game. Um, so, you know, there's different play styles, but if you want to cheese the game, that's the cheesiest. Um, one of my buddy... One of my buddies just beat Melania with his big old Berserker sword, his gut sword. Um, and he was using the mimic to Mimics here, and I was thinking about how funny that would be. Just running up on Melania with the Mimic here. And it's just like double guts played. Um, also, if you didn't, if you saw that guy had golden eyes, he gives you three times the amount of runes as regular. Uh, it's a 0.25% chance of it happening to any random enemy in the game. Or something like that. Vatividia, thank you so much for your stats, my man. Um, I love watching Vatividia. If you are going to watch anyone on YouTube who is covering Souls games in, like, lore fashion, Vati. The dude is awesome. Also, didn't know he was Australian until, like, just the other day. I totally thought he was British. Uh, but the dude is Australian. <laughs> he sounds so properly British. Uh, but no, Australian dude. Uh, and yeah, he, he tells very, very detailed lore about all of the FromSoft games. And it's insane to listen to how much research he does. And like, to be fair, like, I feel like if you live and breathe in these like communities, you learn a lot because the games don't hand you much story wise. This one hands you a lot more than most of the other like FromSoft titles do. Um, and I feel like that's kind of like it has to be that way, given the open world style of it, because like, with the Dark Souls franchise, you really could get away with not knowing most of the plot and just like running around. And also like Sekiro. Sekiro is very plot heavy, to be fair. Um, oh, Sekiro is such a beautiful game. I will be playing that game 
for sure on the channel because, man, it's just such a fun game and I love the mechanics. I think I talked about it last episode, but it's like literally one of the only games where the, like, the, the thing is like just get better. Like just get better and the game becomes easier. <laughs> like obviously there's leveling to it, which is nice. But it's like, the leveling is techniques to learn, not like, well, there's there's certain things that are like, okay, power spikes, of course, but, oh, that game is awesome. And I have, and it's also one of those games where you can't really change your sword, like your weapon is your weapon and that's that. Um, I mean, obviously you get different weapons along the way, mainly one. Um, but that weapon is like in addition to what you have. It's not like a uh, like a change out from what you have. Um, yeah, it's so beautiful. Everything about it is so pretty, and the gameplay is so fun. Oh, all right. So here's the encounter where you start the mimic. Um, also, I should have mentioned it earlier, but I'm wearing Radon's armor because it's fun. Um, but this is a very funny one because. If you go in here with full equip load, you're fighting yourself. But if you take off all your equipment and <laughs> and you just go in with nothing on, <laughs> he. Oh man, I forgot about him. Hello, it's me, Quack. He also has the same thing. And if you can punch to your heart's content, man, and nothing happens. It's really funny. Where is he? It's me. <laughs> Quack. Punch. <laughs> He's so fast. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of things happening, but uh, he does no damage to me. I do no damage to him. And then if I just decide to go ahead and simplify my life and put my weapons back on, which I can totally do whenever I want to, uh, I can just go ahead and just smack him because literally he can't do any damage. So I could just sit here for so long, scooting around my menu of this love and life, uh, and he can't do anything to me. And then I can just come in and give him the whack. <laughs> It also shows you how broken the Mimic here is. Woo! It's just so... So good to have another you in there. And, uh, yeah. It got all your stats, and it's got all your heals, and it's just really good. Really good. Don't heal, buddy. He's gonna try. Oh, he doesn't have all my heals. He only has one. Look at that. What a gift. Take some blood, friend. Quack. I defeat self. <laughs> Marvel tier, silver tier mask. So you don't get the mimic tier from here, but you have to fight this boss in order to actually uh, get it later. So let's put our equipment back on because that's the way we gotta live. Oh, my armors. I've gotten a bunch of armors now. Um, I also, when I beat the dude who's in the round table hold. He gave me that. Um, or this one, sorry. Um, do I want to still be Blythe? I kind of like being Blythe. I could be Pot. I could be Pot Man. That's way better than Blythe's. Is it better than Radon's? It's kind of the same as Radon's, but I feel like everyone does Radon, and that's not very fun. Uh, maybe I'll be Pot. Maybe I'll be Pot Man for a bit. <laughs> it's me, Pot. <laughs> All right, I'll jump back when my equip load's all the way on. All right, perfect. We good, baby. All right, so now we've beaten that, and we've unlocked this area. We got to go further into Nocron. Ooh, I should just rest. Why not? Um, and we can get the larval tier, or not the larval tier, the mimic tier soon. I don't have enough for levels. Yeah, I'm at 91. Very close to end game level. I generally end the game, I'd say around 100-ish, level 100. Um, they're recommending for the DLC that you're like 100 to 120. So, works for me. I should be there right when I need to be, which is nice. I'm so pumped for the DLC. So pumped. 
Somber Smithing Stone FA. We don't need Somber Smithing Stone. I don't need a single Somber Smithing Stone. Uh, I might... Oh, actually, you know what? I probably will need them for the DLC because I, I will want to get the boss's um, items in the DLC and I want to upgrade them to check them out. Um, that's Moog's Palace. We've got to go there because that's how we get into the DLC, apparently. I forgot I was a pot. <laughs> we'll see. I think that there's... Um, so there's an egg in Moog's Palace. Uh, and he is like protecting it and all that goodness um it's supposed to be an egg of his like girlfriend who is apparently Mikola, who is going to be a very crucial part of the dlc potentially but we'll see i'm not sure i have not played the dlc and i'm trying to go completely spoiler free because i want to play the game blind and it's going to be really fun to do that um yeah, so that'll be cool. So remember how I said that you, I, I kind of like breezed through that first spirit fight because you fight him again? You fight him again. If you do the Nocron, you fight the spirit again. I don't want to kill those guys. I love them. I love the little guys. So it is cool because in the area above, these guys are spirits. Down here, they're just real. Oh, and they are hitting like they're real people. Ugh, I don't know how I drink in my pot hat. I really want to see how it go goes again. I'm going to do it. Let's see. How do I heal? <laughs> Shove in pot. Heal man. You're going to talk about Moog? Lord of blood, your eminence, I beg you, grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Long live the Mohwin dynasty. The Mohwin dynasty. Uh, yep. So Moog's up there. And he's going to be a problem. He really is kind of a problem. He's a bleed build. And he's nice. Oh, he's a nice. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, remember how I had all those braziers lit before? Gotta do it again here. Fun times. But yeah, I never really... I feel like I've power leveled more than usual in this playthrough. Because I've been just kind of like enjoying exploring. Because I haven't explored this game in a while, and I feel like every time I do a playthrough, shortly after doing a playthrough, I, uh, yeah, I just don't have the patience to, you know, explore again. Ooh! Pardon? My jump attack. Oh, he's got his scythe hat. That is, that blood is so good. Does a ton of dang. Alright, too lit. <laughs> Too lit to quit. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so tickled. But it did. The wolves. There is. Yeah, so he's just roaming around now. Kind of awesome that there's just a boss that just is chilling. He's no longer a boss. Just a just a just a little dude. This is a little guy. Don't do it. I think it's really cool when the game does that. In um, the Dark Souls DLC, they did that, where uh, the dragon scale armor was just chilling in the DLC. Just like, what's up, buddy? And I remember finding him and being like, oh my lord. Because he was such a problem in-game when you fought him. And you're like, okay, great, so he's stronger now. <laughs> but now you see how easy it is to beat him. He's so easy this high level. That guy was a problem for me just a couple of hours ago, really. Um... I think that's nice when these games do that and they're like, remember, you sucked before and now you're great. <laughs> uh, and uh, I mean, a lot of people give them flack because they're like, oh, they're reusing assets. And to that, I say, dude, every game reuses assets. It's just that with, uh, you know, FromSoft games, all their assets are so awesome that whenever they reuse them, people are like, how is it possible that they do that? Like, literally. The most recent, not the most recent, the God of War series, they have ogres just duplicated, 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 duplicated. And that's part of the main story. That's not part of, like, side quest stuff. That's main story stuff, you know? And you're like, hmm. <laughs> uh, double or AAA games are definitely doing that. So, I don't know. I don't hate on teams for reusing assets, especially because I feel like the video game development world is insane timeline wise 
So you just gotta cut some slack when you can. Like, what's the point in being such a purist that you can't allow for anything to be slightly reused? Um, yeah. Fight me if you have a different opinion. <laughs> but also, I don't know, everyone's got their own opinions and I totally respect it. It's, um, it's just, I don't know. It doesn't feel lazy to me because I feel like the bosses in this game are so well crafted to begin with that it's kind of hard to be upset about it. Um, yeah, personal opinions. But what do you guys? What do you guys think? Is it is it like lazy? Do you think to reuse assets? Because I really don't care if they do, especially if it's not like part of main story stuff, like these ones. Ooh, I know I want to go back there. I forget why I want to go back there, but I know I want. To. <laughs> That's kind of like the motto of this game. I know I want to do that, but why? <laughs> Tell me why I want to do that. I forget. <laughs> What's the side effect of this game being super huge? Because it is. It's enormous. Like, it's gargantuan. Um, the thing about the scale of it is, is a little bit insane sometimes. Um, ooh, 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 saved it. I totally was about to fall off the side. Torrent, don't fall off the side. Torrent. Come on, baby. Ooh, we made it. Okay. And we leap. And we leap to the dish. I'm in the dish. <laughs> oh, what? I kind of forgot that this is just all that's here. Have some blood. Oh, <laughs> she hit me. She hit me with the sauce. Oh, she double sauced me. I like how her weapon is just, I hold the skull and I whack with my hand. <laughs> you gotta appreciate commitment to a good skull hold, you know? You gotta save that skull. Ancestral infant's head. That is a, a little weapon. Fun. I didn't have to go here at all, apparently. I just like to do things for the sake of doing them. What a surprise. <laughs> I feel like anyone who's ever watched any of my playthroughs are gonna be like, yeah, that checks out, dude. <laughs> he really likes to explore. <laughs> I'm distracted, all right? Oh, I was watching back one of the earlier episodes when I was uh, saying, I was like, I'm not going to get distracted. All right, I'm distracted. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, man. <laughs> I don't think I have ADHD, but it's possible that there's some lingering stuff rattling around in there. Ooh, scratches. Ah, oh. and leap. Oh man. <laughs> Is it just faster to teleport out of here? Ooh, I don't have any teleports up there. All right, it's not. Not faster to teleport. Gotta get out of here, the old hey. Ooh, but with Torrent, that's a big question mark. Ooh, Torrent. Be kind to me. Ooh. Oh, I can just jump down here. <laughs> I was trying to make it way harder on myself than I needed to. <laughs> Uh, story of my life. Ooh, there we go. See, look at that. If I didn't go over there, I wouldn't have found that one. I would have been all confused on where the herc it was. <sighs> Alright, friend. I'm coming. I'm coming to gather your stuff. Smithing Stone, Somber Smithing Stone 5. Once again, not exactly helpful for me, but I'm not complaining about getting extras. Um, because I will need extras of them. Especially with the DLC, I'm super pumped to check out the new stuff in the DLC. Um, I love checking out new weapons and doing new builds. Which is why this playthrough is so, like, against my natural instincts. Because I feel like I'm just so used to being like, Alright, let's try something new. <laughs> Whee! Have some blood. Oh, I'm out of fups. My fups are gone. <laughs> if anyone's confused when I say fucks, it's your magic in this game is called FP, um, and uh, your focus points, and um, and so I've always just called it the fucks. Calling it the fucks. A head. I got the horned headband. Oh, fun! I could be a little guy. <laughs> and light. Yeah. Alright, so this guy... Ooh, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna do that every once in a while. Accidentally emote instead of jump on my walls. How many more do I need to get for that? Hmm. That's the nice part about the other one, is it just shows you exactly how many you need to get. Pardon? I'm just gonna shove some healing down my 
pot. <laughs> oh, there's where it shows you. Nice. Okay, cool. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. Oh, he came in with the big chunks. Hello. Don't. This game also punishes you for being lazy. Because at a certain point in, like, leveling, you just kind of are like, meh, I'm good, so I don't even need to, like, do the, the, the game. Like, I don't need to be careful anymore. Which is the, what the game has been telling me to do this entire time, you know? Be careful. Ooh, I almost killed myself, and I was talking about exactly that. Don't. Have some- Oh, I forgot I didn't have any blood. No fucks. Okay, we go in, we go in, we got. I need to be less distracted. That is totally the motto of all the games I'm playing. Be less distracted. <laughs> Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Oop. Oop. <laughs> There's my guy. Alright, so I need to get to the last one. Where's the last one? If I was following the directions of it, because usually it follows the way they're laid out, it would be somewhere over here, right? Hey, friend. You got a nice bow. A real nice bow. <laughs> Sorry, pardon, pardon, friend. Um, ooh, he gave me some extra heals. That's very, very nice. It's down, is it down there? No, it's not. That is just more secrets. Give me your secrets. I want to know your secrets. Okay, let's find the last one. Ooh, is it right here? Did I walk right by it before? I did. I did do that. <laughs> now I know there is a, a resting spot here somewhere. Right? Hmm. No? That's not what I'm looking for. Where is this resting zone? Let's see if I can find one real quick. Otherwise, I'll just run into the boss. Because I've got five Heelys. And that might be enough. But it also might not be enough. Yeah, that boss is not that hard. Like, really. Um, but that is my curse. Because I say, oh, that boss isn't very hard. And then I go in and I get destroyed right away. That's my life. <laughs> That's the way I like to live. <laughs> With a little bit of curse. <laughs> uh, resting? Resting place? Nope. Alright. Well, I feel like I tried. <laughs> That's me trying right there. Dang, there was so much stuff in there. <laughs> Give me all your stuff. Oh, I think there's a resting spot up there. Isn't there? Question mark? Isn't there? It looks like there might be. Resting spot? <gasps> Yay! Resting spot. So we're going to be going down there as well. But first, let's do a mini boss because it's fun. Perfecto. Get a little bit more health through. Whoops. And then, hey, I've got 420. 420 seals. I don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> don't let me kill anyone. <laughs> 420. <laughs> oh, I'm five years old. All right. So now, to the hollow horn ground. If you notice, this boy is glowing. We touch his horns. That's just nice horns. Can I touch them? And for those of you guys who have played this game before, this is exactly the same boss fight as the previous one. This one feels a little bit lazy to me personally, um, but it's also one of those ones where it's so pretty. Listen to the music. So pretty the music. Sorry, I didn't mean to be so quiet for so long, but ah, music is so pretty. This is like the most haunting fight in the game. Oh, he's so far away. This is the problem with Sekiro as a playthrough for me. The music is so good. 
that I will be like, oh, sorry about that. I forgot that you guys were here. I was just vibing out with some awesome Japanese flute. Oh, so good. Ready? He's barfing. Even his barf is pretty. <laughs> oh, I love this fight. Sorry, I, I could be going through it way faster, but I'm just kind of enjoying the scenery. Oh. Come on, bring your powers. Oh, he's getting a little toasty McGavin. Oh, he's flapping. He's doing his barf flaps. Oh, he's he healed. Oops. He does have a delay over his friend. Usually the other one goes right away. <laughs> Where are you? Can I horse? I can't horse in here. All right, buddy. Come on. I'll stop pussyfooting around and actually kill you. Oh, he's doing his little... Look at him, he's being a kangaroo! I love that. So throughout this fight, he gets different powers based on the animals that he's summoning. Uh, it's super cool. I love the mechanic. Heal right in your face. Uh, it might seem counterintuitive, but it's the same like mechanic as in Monster Hunter, uh, which is like the the gooch and the underside of these guys of the bosses is definitely the safest place on them. Uh, it definitely feels uh, very much not like that place that you should be, but it really is. All right, I've been just goofing around this whole time. Let's get less goofy. Let's kill this boy. Well, he's getting ready to stomp. He's doing his barf stomps. Did you kill your friend? All right, we'll bleed him. Don't do it. Don't do it, Regal Ancestor Spirit. Oh, I missed him with the bleed? Won't miss him with that one. Oh, missed him with that one. Give a little heal. And then... Nope, he's healing. Oh. Bleed him. And one more hit. And we got him down. That fight is so pretty. It gives us a remembrance. That's very nice. 24... Thousand souls. Look at that, hi, buddy. How are you? <laughs> you were killed by your friend. Ugh. So yeah. When I said that, I kept out that other boss fight because you're going to see it again later. That's what I meant. It's a very pretty boss fight, but it's not required. Do it twice. We made our way through. I'm going to head back to our little resting space. Because we need to go down that path I was showing you earlier? Path. I use the word path so lenient. This is not a path. <laughs> it is 100% not a path, what this is. I have to go down these rooftops. <laughs> That's what I have to do. Uh, so let's rooftop it up. Rooftop! Alright. Get rid of Torrent if you must. Um... Literally, does this feel like something you should be doing? Because it doesn't feel like that to me. But the game says, oh, yes, that's exactly what you should do. <laughs> Have you seen them something that seems more path like than these roofs? No, never. <laughs> that's the way Elden Ring thinks all the time. Rune arc. Dang, nice pickup. All right, we got to We got to do. A, uh, we got to prepare a jump. Leap. <laughs> We've made it. Ugh. Every once in a while, feels like you come to a dead end. And then, I guess I could go over there. Let me just double check, because sometimes there's, like, crucial ladders that you've got to get to. Uh, ooh. Celestial do. Hmm. I celestial do not. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, ho. that was so close. I was so close to ending myself. I can't go over there. Is this a mistake? Oh, yes, it was. I need to go over there. I'm being a fool. Whee! But hey, I got stuff, so I'm not complaining about it. 
not complaining about it one bit then friend all right we leap onto here and we leap oh oh onto here hey silver tier so these are all um these guys turn into dudes and then you just come up and you say a little wackus to them when oh apparently i just i say no no wackuses to them i'll take the wax don't 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 <laughs> don't <laughs> oh she switched over to fist she got real paunchy on me um but you can see how good those here those uh mimics are like that is like a tenth of the power of what one of us is because we're so high level and we're so great we're so awesome I'll summon it at one point, just so you can see it on some boss that I can, like, crush. Um, just so you can see the Mimic tier and how great it is. But, yeah. If you've never used the Mimic tier, which, if you are playing this game at all, I'm sure you have. Um, but it's it's worth a, uh, it's worth a gander, then, friend. I don't want to go. I don't really want to explore. I'm sorry. I'm going to go. I'm going streamlined as much as possible. Whip. Whip. And a whip. Yeah, seriously, does any of this say, hmm, this seems like something you should do? <laughs> the answer is definitely not. <laughs> Why on earth would you, sh like, parkour across the rooftops? Ooh, Black Wet Blade. Love it. I'll take some extra heals. Why not? I mean, I already, I only have one heal missing. But I'll take the extra one. So yeah, that refills your, re refills, that done refills your heals. Excuse me. So. This is where you need to go. It's guarded by nothing, too. Which is so funny. It's so funny. And you can sneak in on her. And just give her a little... As you might have. Ooh, she's good. And then... Yeah. Did that seem difficult? No. Not difficult at all. And then what's in here? Oh, I don't know. The best summon in the game. Mimic Tear Ashes. It's literally the best summon in the game. Like, not even close to it. It just... I, I'll see if I can, um... If I can read it to you, because... It just summons a Mimic Tear Spirit. There, it's not even information. It just summons a clone of yourself. With all of your stuff. With all of your buffs. With all of your things. And it's so broken. It's the most broken thing. Uh, I, I, I don't, it's one of those things where you're like, should they nerf it? Well, no, because it's like, I feel like this game thrives on being like, all right, like, if you need an easy mode, have an easy mode. Um, also, that thing will chase you until it decides to not chase you, um, which is forever. <laughs> and it hurts. It hurts so much. Girl. You want, if you won't catch me, catch me outside, baby. Can I get it to hit her? I can. That's hilarious. <laughs> They've just been sitting here looking at the stone, and I was like... <laughs> I love that. I want it to kill her so bad. It killed her! Oh, that was, that was, that was the quest that I really needed in my life. Uh, thank you, Night Maiden. You brought me joy. So much joy, Night Maiden. Can't come outside, can you, Stone? You're just a little too chonky. You're just a little bit too chonky of a stone. Uh, so when you're going through here, you can fight them all if you want to, but it's kind of not worth it to go through and fight every single one of them, in my humble opinion. Um, But a large one does get summoned, which is cool. That is fun. So, yeah. Mm, ooh, I'm already at 29, man. Those things be pumping out the souls. Sorry. <laughs> Not the souls, the things. Yeah, they give you 240. It's not really worth it to stop by all of them, but... Ooh, Golden Room 7. Don't complain about that. And... This guy. He turns giant. He's worth fighting because it's something different. You've never fought him before. I like a good, a good tier giant. Hey, don't. Don't. Have some blood. Ooh, this one, she made it. She done made it. I'll heal. Let's stay, let's stay nice and, nice and healthy. 
Nothing blood. Can I bleed the the? Oh, I can. I can bleed the little tears. That's very nice. Bleed is very good. In this game. Oop. And leave. Gotcha. Um, yeah, bleed was really good in Dark Souls 3 right when it came out. I think I talked about that earlier. Um, not as viable anymore. Hey, friend. What do you got? A little shield? That's nice. <laughs> Very nice shield. Big fan. Wow, he missed so close, though. Hmm. <laughs> wow, 36k already. Hmm. No, thank you. Firm pass. <laughs> Oh, ooh, I could go there if I want to. I don't think I want to, though. I just don't think I want to. But but guess what's in this this house? Guess what's in this little house right here? <laughs> ooh, what's in the chest? What's in the chest? Finger Slayer Blade? Ooh. So, pretty sure that's what Ronnie sent us down here to get. Is the Finger Slayer Blade. Let's look. Let's look at our equipment. Is it a weapon? I don't think it is. Do, 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 do. I think it's a key item. Let's check. Inventory. Key items. Key items. There it is. Hidden treasure of the Eternal City of Nakron. So we got it. And I'm very curious. I'm pretty sure this just loops me around. Let's take it. Let's go for a little journey, huh? Let's just see what we can do. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that. Loops us right back to our little space. So nice. So, let's go and report the good news. Tell tell Ronnie the good word. Yeah. Alright, Ronnie's rise. Let's go talk to our girlfriend. She's not our girlfriend yet. And she doesn't know that we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> but mark my pot. She will be ours. <laughs> she will be mine. <laughs> it's also like one of those things where it's like, sure, you're like ruling together, but I'm pretty sure she's the one with the power. Like, we're just helping. Ah, it was thee. It was. Not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sense. We work it. together. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. Yeah. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ooh. Ah, but before I leave, entrust me. I shall entrust thee with this. <gasps> yes. So we can go. My thanks. For thy sterling efforts. We can go to a very a specific place with gift, that. Perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. Oh, I am. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. All right. Let's check that out. Do, 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 do. Is that in? Is it in? Ooh, gross. Well, whatever. We got a bunch of stuff. That's very exciting. Thanks, Ronnie. Thanks. We like being your friend. Oh, she's great. Um, yeah. So let's. There's a couple things we could do next. Potentially. We could... Ooh. Hold on, let me think about this for one second. Alright, there is a place that I want to go to. We just got... Let's, let's check this item real quick. There it is. Uh... Key revealing the hidden form of Carrion Study Hall. So, let's go to the Carrion Study Hall. And let's figure out 
What's going on there? All right, so we're here. And examine the pedestal. This area, when you get to it in an early game, there's like nothing really special about it. You get a couple of little things here and there. But if you'll notice, upside down. So now, this whole area is inverted. Got some souls from something? <laughs> this whole area is inverted from where it was before. Ridiculous. Um, so yeah, we are going to... Oh my gosh, can I not get through here? Okay, cool, I can. Um, and it's the weirdest part of the game, in my opinion. It's like... Every, it's literally the level is built upside down here. And let me tell you, there's some problems waiting for you in this area, because holy moly, there's some difficile. It's difficile! <laughs> there's some difficile boys, but yeah, even the water, the water's on the ceiling. So cool. Let's go get this item down. Ooh, Thank you, friend. Give me your purples. A mask of confidence. <laughs> oh. So this is the guy who's in there usually. Perceptor Miriam. Perceptor. Might I say some words? Words. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got him. That was about as easy as it gets. Lucidity. Cool. One of my friends' favorite music festivals. <laughs> and hello, hands. You going to jump at me? I saw you in the distance through the window. <laughs> hands. Hands. Whoops. Didn't need to do that. Let's get this hand. I've had itchy nose the past two days. I don't know what's causing it, but I'm not a big fan. Don't have any sneezes or coughs or anything like that, just got itchy nose. I don't like the itchy nose. Be wary of trap. Oh, friend! You can even turn! On another adventure! Hello! <laughs> Hello, friend! Alright, yeah, so with this whole thing being upside down, it's just kind of like everything is difficult to navigate. <laughs> It's just difficult. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta go down here. That looks like a nice landing spot! <laughs> it turns out it wasn't! <laughs> uh, I'll jump right back there. I feel like if you were to just, like, if any other developer was to put out a game like this, people would be like, what? <laughs> What the heck, dude? You want me to climb up on these rooftops? And FromSoft does it, and it's like, yes. I must go across the rooftops. <laughs> they know what they're doing, FromSoft. They know their friend base. Alright, cool. Got it. Flintstone Firefly. Uh, ooh, you know what? I'll get some items, because I'm up here. Let's live that dream. We're getting items. We're living the dream. No, thank you. Ooh, holy proof dried liver. Now that I've, or I play Sekiro a ton still, and um, the liver, or the, the like fish liver stuff, gives you electric resistance. So used to just using that for that. Woo! Woo! Ooh. Open up your doors, Fred. Everyone get on the floor and do the dinosaur. <laughs> Alright, we're through. Open the door upside down. 
<clears throat> so this will be our first taste of a very common boss in Elden Ring. Uh, just because it's common doesn't mean it's easy. It's a pain in the butt. It's a real pain in the butt. Loading screen. All right, we made it. Um, it really feels like you're supposed to be going to like the consecrated snowfields there, but you're not. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we get to go to this uh, tower, which I'm pretty sure is uh, Moon Girl's tower, unless I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, sorry in advance. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I've said a bunch of stuff in this that's wrong. Yes, so this guy, the Godskin, he is a problem. Look how much damage he does, and look how little damage I did to him. Gotcha. Yeah, he is, he's a big beefy boy. And then when he gets his roll going, he gets rolling, baby. Like Limb Biscuit on a good day. No, thank you. Okay, let's stay, pot, stay potted up. He has an auto uh, trigger. Anytime you go ahead and heal, he, he pops that move. If he has the time to do it. Both godskins will do it. Oh, get your flames out of here. Get your black flames out of here. It's funny, though. At this point in the game, he's really not that insanely difficult. Because uh, if you come here early, he's a huge problem. There he goes. He's rolling. <laughs> he whacked me with his rolls. <laughs> that was too funny. Oh, he's just so chonky. Um, by the way, god skins. It's not because he has... He is a god. It's because he's literally wearing a god skin. Oh, rude. Ooh, first danger. I love a first danger. Yeah, see? Auto does it. Anytime you heal. Ooh, no thanks. No thanks. I will heal. He's gonna... Ooh, he harpoons. Okay, okay. I shouldn't be messing around as much as I am. I shouldn't be messing. Do it. Nope. Nope. Please. Gotcha. Ooh. Noble hood, noble robe, noble bracelets, and noble trousers. Oh, the nobles. Yeah, I, I love, um... I love the godskin nobles. They are difficult. But I think their character models are cute. Super cute, cow. Is super cute, cow? Ah. <laughs> Let's go up to the top of this, and I think I can get to the top of it. Question mark? I think this door will open because I'm pretty sure I've beaten the boss that this is for. Um, that'll be nice. Get another awoken great room. I don't know why I really want all these rune fragments. I really want them. <laughs> I love collecting items. It's way too much fun. <sighs> Alright, let's open the door. The Divine Tower of Leonia. I also have 52k. That's a level. So when I get to the top, I'll probably burn that level. Fingers ahead. <laughs> Thank you, message. What would I have done without you? What would Potman have done without you? Pots. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know why I'm sitting on this heel. I don't know. I don't have anyone to fight up here, but... Always good to be healed. Come on, lift. This game makes you wait for your payoffs, by the way. The lift's just go in real time. Just be nice and slow. All right, side of grace. Ooh, I'm gonna level up real quick. Level up. I wanna get a little more di uh, vigor so I can get some more health. Perfect. Not that I'm hurting that much on health, but I feel like that's really crucial for late game bosses. Health and defense makes it so that you're really tanky and good, even if you don't have a ton of tanky stuff. Oh, what's in here? 
curse mark of death key item and stargazer's heirloom let's look at both of those things sorry not to be really nerdy uh curse mark of death right there curse mark carved into lunar princess ronnie's discarded flesh so this is ronnie here Ooh. um and then let's check this guy which is this one raises intelligence don't want it but this is ronnie right here this is her body and it's sad oh man ronnie well whatever your spirit is what we care about and that's what we're dating um cool all right guys well thanks for coming with me on this episode Ooh, ooh. i want to do one thing before i end the episode all right last thing i want to do i want to check in with ronnie because in order to, to, to or to get her quest line continued we got to check in with her real quick um and yeah I want to kind of keep this quest line rolling because it's really important to my end game. So, and also, it's just kind of a fun quest to do. It kind of lays things out for you. You could do a lot of back and forth. It's fun. So, she's not here. She's not here at all. Where do we go? What do we do? <laughs> now we get a quest or a, a thing that's right next to her, which is awesome. So we don't have to go all the way back up here every time we want to go talk to her. But instead of that just being the conclusion to this, we need to go check in on her. Or at least check in on the next things that are available. And in order to do that, we've got to go head up to the tower up to the north that was previously locked. Now it is unlocked and there's some things going on there. That tower right there. So... Hi, dogs. Pardon me, dogs. I have no business with you, especially since you give me very few runes, and I'm not interested in any of that. Beep. And we come through, and we leap, leap, leap. Ugh, this area is pretty, but it is very foggy. <laughs> very foggy. <laughs> All right, let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Can't resist a glowing skull. I don't know what it is about them. They're just so tantalizing. Ooh. Yeah, so it's open now. Brenna's Rise, baby. Brenna's Rise. Which, as you uh, recall, is the name she gave us that first time we met her. So it seems like she just kind of uses the names interchangeably. Brenna Ronnie. Which, like, as far as, like, stealth names go, pretty terrible like <laughs> all right cool we got all that stuff um it's like my first of all my name is nick it's like if i went around and i was like my name is nick <laughs> i'm pretty sure you're gonna know it's me <laughs> all right we've got to go through here yes this is the only way to get into this area basically which is awesome all right so we get into the Ainsel River, Maine. This is once again in the underground area. And it's a part we've never been in. And we get a miniature Ronnie doll, which is pretty crush. Um, And most times in this game, people just get stuff and they're like, meh, whatever. Like, it is what it is. Something else to hold on to. But if you rest here, you get a different option. Talk to miniature Ronnie. Something that you could easily miss if you weren't paying attention to. Nothing, huh? Oh, well, I guess it's not worth doing. Hmm? No? Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Rude. Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. Sullied. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. All right. Now it shows up as talk to Rani. So, we've got to go defeat those shadows. And that's what we're going to do next episode. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this one. I've had a blast.
continuing Ronnie's quest line, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. We're getting glorious. We're getting up to mischief. Don't wait, cause we're coming in hot. Let's eat some biscuits. Let's get